you're able to get free SSL certificates from this company here called Let's Encrypt. But it's a little tricky if you're on a Windows server. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I use this little product called WinSimple to do it. And I ran into some pitfalls, but hopefully they're going to help you be able to do it as well. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is David with Tech Smart Boss here with another video. So I did a podcast a couple weeks ago about the top three ways to uh, get a, a SSL certificate for your website. Something you definitely want to do. Google's going to penalize you if you don't do that. And, you know, generally I was go out and buy one from GoDaddy, which is what I've been doing and buying certificates from there. I gave you a free method called Let's Encrypt, which is an API method and it had some advantages and some disadvantages, uh, but it was free. And then I talked about Cloudflare, which is free, but that's more of a SSL proxy. Uh, so what I wanted to do is try to get a certificate from Let's Encrypt, test that out and see if it works. Now, a lot of the cloud vendors are integrating with them by default and, 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 and that's nice because it's all API based uh, SSL creation. It's a little trickier if you have your own Windows server and you're trying to do it on a Windows box. So I've done some research. I found out that there's a product out there called WinSimple that I'm going to give a test here. I'm on their page here. I'm going to put this link in the video uh, description uh, or wherever you're watching this, you should see that link. So definitely go out and click that. And what I'm going to do is scroll down on this page. This is a GitHub page and click on latest release. And as of this video, it's 1.9.6. They've got a couple of dot increments here. 6.2 seems to be the latest. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and download this for uh, Windows. Uh, so let's click on this link. I'm going to put that into my downloads folder. And uh, let's see. There it is right there. Let's go ahead and double click on that. Oh, I'm used to my Mac, so I have to always get back familiar with um, Windows. I'm going to go ahead and rename that to Let's Encrypt so it'll be a little bit easier for us to get to. And looks like we've got a good thing there. So now this is pretty simple. Uh, we're going to test this out, but essentially I should just have to go out here and run this command from this directory that uh, just got expanded. Let's see. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and run Let's Encrypt. Now this might be a little small. We're going to let me zoom, put this in the middle of the screen so I can easily zoom in and show you on the video. So I'm going to do let's encrypt, if I can spell it right today, .exe. And this should be simply prompt me to, oh, let's see what it's telling me. Let me do a dot. So it'll run from this directory versus trying to find the path. All right, here we go. So it says uh, enter an email address, not public, use for renewal, fail notices. So, so far, so good. I'll go ahead and put my email address in here. Now, it should go out there and read my host headers and determine all my uh, websites here. Let's see, do you agree uh, to the licenses and conditions? I'm going to go ahead and say yes to that. All right, now it's saying, what do we want to do? Create a new certificate? Uh, and then there's a couple legacy options there. Well, I'm looking to create a new certificate. So it looks like this is a little utility where when I want to renew some things or list my renewals, I can come back in here and run this and do this. This reminds me of the old days uh, back in the 90s when I used to play those games like Doom and things like that where you would answer questions and move to the next room and, and, and that kind of crazy stuff. I'm going to go ahead and say in to create a new certificate. All right, it says, what kind of certificate would you like to create? Single binding of an IIS site, all bindings for a single, all bindings for multiple, manually input host names. Ah, I like that. That's a nice feature. Um, I'm going to do a single, I'm going to manually, I'm going to do a single, I'm going to try a single binding um, of an IIS site because I really just want one certificate for this one particular uh, binding that I have. So I'm going to press one. Hoping that's going to give me a listing. Yes, it does. All right. So now it's listing all of the uh, websites I have on this server. And I'm going to pick the one that I want to build this certificate for. 
And in this case, I uh, see I need to do some cleanup of my host headers, but I'm going to pick number five, which is the one we're trying to get today. So let's choose that site. And now it's going out there, and looks like some magic has taken place. All right, uh, what happened here? It said um, invalid, uh, detailed, invalid response. Uh, authorization failed. All sorts of things. Answer should now be browsable. So I wonder if because I have a um, already expired certificate on this site. It, ah, you know what? I see what's going on. It actually wants to browse HTTP to that site. And I don't have that enabled because I only want you to go HTTPS. And I've got an invalid certificate already on this site. So what I'm going to do is rather than have show you all the complexity of I'm going to just add another binding so it works on HTTP versus HTTPS, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to come right back and we're going to say yes to start this again. Okay, so I'm back. I made that change, did a little magic behind the scenes. Let's go ahead and hit say yes to start this again. Uh, it's going to put me through the whole system again. So let's go ahead and say in for create new certificate and I want to do number one a single binding of an IIS site I'm going to pick my particular site that I'm trying to build this SSL key for and now it should be able to access that site on HTTP up oh, I got a valid this time and look at that it appears to have potentially worked now, what's nice about this Win Simple is one of the things about these certificates from Let's Encrypt is they autom they need to be renewed every 90 days. Um, so they want to make sure that, you know, it's a valid system. Win Simple will actually create a task on your Windows server that will automatically renew that for you. It'll create a task that runs a renew thing every day from what I understand. It says, do I need to specify a user that the task will run is? I'm going to say no because I'm already logged in as admin and uh it's going to tell me that it's going to renew it after in 90 days from the day and look at that now it's giving me the opportunity to go back through and do it again let's test and see if this works so i'm going to go into iis i'm going to click on my bindings and look at my https and look at that that is a new certificate that i did not have before that has been automatically added into my bindings. Let's actually go to that website. This is what it looked like before. I was getting that nasty privacy warning. I'm gonna reload this page and look at that, I'm secure. Just like that. So this is definitely, in my opinion, the way to go. I just saved money. I didn't have to go to GoDaddy and, and, and buy this certificate, which has been my typical uh, MO. Uh, so I'm going to start using this all the time. And now if you are using the Windows Server, I hope this helped you and you saw some of the um, troubles that I had and hopefully you saw some of the solutions. If you like this video, stay tuned for more. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook. Subscribe to that page and go out to TechSmartBoss.com for more free business tips and resources. And stay tuned for the next video.